Hey guys, so in March of 2024, my family took a holiday trip to Jeju, Korea. And this is my vlog about it. We did so many things in Korea like go-karting, sightseeing, and lots of eating. So yes, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and let's go back to the beginning. Hello everyone, welcome to the start of the Korea vlog. Alright guys, we're all set. It's time to go to the airport. Time check is like 3.30 in the morning. I am really tired because I have not gotten a single minute of sleep. But that's the whole point, so I can sleep on the plane. Everybody, we've arrived at Jeju and it's really cold, really, really cold. All right, we've made it out of the customs and this is Jeju Airport. And the first thing we're gonna do is to board a bus to get our car. All right, I just wanna feel how cold it is outside. Woo, very chilly. So we're gonna get the car first and then we're just gonna drive to our Airbnb and then... So the first cool thing that we discovered was that there were free water dispensers at almost every single place we went to for everyone to drink. Okay, so my family is collecting the car in the dealership right now and it's going to be the first time driving on the right side of the road because in Singapore we drive on the left side. Alright, we finally got our car. Here it is. Pretty spacious in here. Anyways, this was my brother's first time driving on the other side of the road. Whoa! It's pretty chill so far, it's just a pretty big truck. He actually got used to it really quickly and he drove for most of the trip. Look at that ocean! Oh my god! Our first meal in Korea is a cafe. Just kidding, it was too crowded. We went to eat at this seafood restaurant. We had raw fish and clam soup and mussels and a whole bunch of delicious food. Honestly, for the amount of food that we ate and how fresh the ingredients were, I really enjoyed this restaurant and I think I'll rate it like a 8 out of 10. Also, it was pretty cool how every spoon came with this paper sleeve. Yeah, it's really cool now. After our lunch, we went to the gift shop at the next door, but it was pretty disappointing how everything was very expensive and nothing was special over there. Oh no. Right now, we're just gonna drive to our Airbnb. After about an hour, we finally arrived at our Airbnb and we accidentally drove up into their garden. <laughs> so embarrassing. So we chose this particular Airbnb because according to the reviews, the owners were really hospitable and they even cooked breakfast for us, which obviously was what we wanted to try, so we booked this place. Ooh, ooh. Alright everyone, here is the house tour. So we start off with this very beautiful porch and also the garden which we accidentally drove into. And they also had a guard dog. <laughs> Entering the house and we're greeted with this very spacious living room as well as the kitchen and the bathroom and also the attic which was where my brother slept. Oh, there was also a balcony but I hit my head while trying to go through the door. Ah. Anyways, after resting for a while, it was time to head out for dinner. We're gonna go eat dinner by the seaside. Oh my goodness. We took a short drive to this seaside restaurant and cafe only to realize they were closed and we were 8 minutes late. So we had to walk around and find some other place to eat and we settled for this fried chicken restaurant. And we also ordered a bit too much. How do we finish this? <laughs> After our huge dinner, we just went to the nearby supermarket just to get some fruits and that was it for the day. I mean, we didn't plan to do much on day one, but day two was definitely going to be more exciting. Alright, moving on to day 2 where we start off the day with breakfast that the owner cooked for us. And I really loved it because everything here was just so fresh. Following that, the owner took us on a tour around her farm which was full of tangerine trees and even a chicken farm. Good morning everybody, today we're gonna explore the rest of Jeju. Our first destination for the day was a strawberry farm up in the mountains. Unfortunately, the owner didn't understand English at all, so our only form of communication was through Google Translate. And after paying for our tickets, we were allowed into their farm and we were allowed to pluck a box worth of strawberries. Okay, this will be my first time plucking strawberries. 
Oh, okay. The strawberries actually tasted really fresh. I don't eat strawberries very often, but yeah, that was cool. And after that, we took a drive to a cafe by the cliffside, which is pretty famous. It's called Honeymoon House. Today's surprisingly not that hot, and I actually like this kind of temperature because it's not freezing cold. Look at how therapeutic this is. This is our cafe we're gonna eat at, and look at the view. Let's check out the view. There's like islands there. And if we come over here, there's just a whole cliff and a waterfall which you can't really see. We will go there later, but it's beautiful. The vibe at the cafe was beautiful, but I couldn't really say the same for the food because it was really mediocre at a really high price. But anyways, after our lunch, we went to scale down the cliff and we managed to get an up-close view of the waterfall. Not as big as I thought, but it was still really nice. The air smells fresher over here. Woo! Check out the ocean! And after our lunch, we decided to pay a visit to a very obscure forest called the Healing Forest. Okay, so we've driven up to this lovely forest over here. This reminds me of the one in America, which I did not go for some reason. What is this? I think it's free insecticide. Free insect repellent? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I spray how? Just spray Oh, come already. <laughs> so there's a reason why this forest is called the therapeutic forest because it was literally dead silent inside. This place is so quiet and so empty, I don't even need to use my microphone. You're meant to go into this forest to just relax and free your mind. And I can safely say I thoroughly enjoyed this experience. Why is this rock speaker? Is this to call people to get out or something? Wait, is this saying anything? <laughs> And to end the day off, we drove into the night market. <laughs> Literally into the night market. At first we thought we were going the wrong direction, but this was apparently the route to the car park. Now I hope you're not watching this at 2am because I bet your stomach's gonna grumble when you see all of the food that we ate. Okay, the food actually looked really good, but looks are completely different from taste because everything was just so spicy I couldn't taste much. We then visited another night market only to realize that everyone was selling roughly around the same stuff so we didn't eat it anymore. So on the way back, we decided to drop by a convenience store to get some food for dinner since we didn't eat much at the street food. So our dinner was just mostly leftover food and instant noodles. And we also came back to see that our clothes rack had fallen over. Okay, never mind, no one asked. On to the next day. So throughout the entire night, it actually rained pretty heavily and it caused the temperatures to fall quite a bit. For this morning's breakfast, the owner has cooked for us porridge as well as eggs and other side dishes. All again, really delicious. Oh, that rhymed. And we also set off really early in the morning because we're going to be boarding a ferry to Udo, which is a smaller island off Jeju. Alright everybody, we're going to be entering the seaport and we also nearly missed our ferry. Oh my god, we made it just in time! <laughs> we initially wanted to bring our car over as well but we couldn't because it was a rental car. So the moment we arrived on the island, we immediately went to rent a car because we wanted to explore the island as much as possible and we only had 2 hours, so we wanted to go fast. This island was full of breathtaking views. My shoes full of pebbles. I would love to swim in this beach. Ooh, yo. So I was flying the drone and we have some really nice drone shots, here you go. Check out this flower field. I don't know why I wanted to see the flower field so badly. I literally told my whole family to stop the car. It's really so windy. I feel like I fall over right now. And if I let go of my phone, it's literally going to fly across. Not really sure what this uh, rock sculpture is, but I'm going to go check it out. Oh my god. Someone left the glasses over here. But it looks so aesthetic. I don't know why. Oh, too cold. Oh. Okay. Alright, you guys want to see this mountain? Holy crap! Okay, we're gonna go down this mountain. I gotta be careful though. I'm just gonna walk at the cliff here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not daring. Okay, we're now closer to the mountain. Drone! Here we go! Alright guys, that concludes Udo. Very nice island, very very scenic, I like that. Right now we're just gonna board the ferry back to Jeju. Oh, my map! <laughs> I absolutely loved Udo, but I kinda wish that we had more time to spend on the island. 
<laughs> the water is salty. Lunchtime. Back in Jeju, we decided to have burgers for lunch. And following that, we went to another nearby park just to walk around and take in the fresh air. But it actually wasn't very interesting, there wasn't much to see over there. And not too long after, we already got pretty hungry, so we went to eat at this beachside bakery. This was apparently super popular because the restaurant is always very crowded. And the food there is, is pretty good. Also, how do people serve in this kind of temperature? Wouldn't, like, are they not cold or something? And to end the day off, we went to shop at Daiso. Alright, we are at our last destination for today, which is Daiso Korea. If you guys don't know, Daiso is just a really cheap department store. Daiso Korea actually offered a huge variety of things like gaming products and Lego and a whole bunch of other things that I didn't get on video. Obviously not the best quality, but still. Alright guys, we're done with Daiso. Look at that, we're too cheap to buy a plastic bag, so we just took one of the store's boxes. <laughs> what is this? Mixed waste. What the hell <laughs> For dinner, we decided to drive back to the cafe that we missed on day one and we had some pork fried rice, pork cutlet and carbonara. All again, really delicious. Also, that night was probably one of the coldest and windiest nights. Look at the street signs, they were all shaking. Anyways, that concludes day three and let's move on to day four. Alright, good morning everyone. It's day four of our Korea trip and today is the last day we're gonna stay in this house. Not sure where we're going, but we're gonna be moving to a hotel after this. It will be a seaside hotel, so that'll be pretty interesting. I think today we're gonna go for some go-karting. For breakfast, we had this delicious Japanese curry rice and it was probably my favorite breakfast ever. And since it was the last day, the owner actually let us play with her dog. And we spent no time in packing up and we were ready to leave the house. I really love this place and the reviews were right, the owners were so nice. We also went to Korea before the cherry blossom season and halfway through driving we discovered this tree which blooms slightly a bit too early. So the place we went to go-kart is called 9.81 Park and they had way more activities than just go-karting which you'll see later. Oh my god. It actually wasn't go-karting, it was more like a luge kind of thing because we were just gliding downhill. Oh my god. Okay, we're picking up speed, we're picking up speed. Oh, oh my god! Oh, it's so cool! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, it's so steep! Oh my god! Oh, the view is amazing! Oh, it is incredible! When we were done, the car actually braked for us and to go back uphill, it literally automatically drove up the hill for us. Damn, it's automatically driving! It sounds like the SCDF alarm. All right, we're now going to our next race, round two. We're not gonna be slow anymore, okay? Holy crap, this is so bumpy. Oh my god. Oh! Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, now for our third and final race. Ah! Oh, my face is frozen. Oh my god, what is happening? Why is it shaking so much? Is this supposed to happen? I don't know what's happening. Oh my god. There were a whole bunch of activities over there, so it was just a huge fun zone. And our last activity for the day was laser tag. It was pretty fun, and I had a great shooting accuracy of 26%. This park was unbelievably fun, and I highly recommend anyone to come visit here. Alright everybody, we're checking in to our next hotel, which is a seaside hotel. We're gonna only be staying here for one night. Okay, we just checked into our hotel room. Oh! <laughs> Too windy. Wow. So we just checked into our hotel room and now we're gonna go out for some food. We went to walk around the streets for some food, but there disappointingly wasn't that much variety over here. And all the street food sold around the same stuff, so I just tried it. I ate two pieces. Very spicy. Ooh. I need to go buy milk. I can't take spicy food. Oh no. I, I cannot walk. For dinner, we drove out for even more street food. Going down. Oh, yeah. That's one long boy. It's like a really long potato chip. We filmed this- And our final dinner in Jeju was beef stew. And after our dinner while leaving the car park, we almost fainted when we realized that our car park was $13. But a miracle happened because none of our credit cards worked to the machine, so we called help desk and they just let us out for free. 
And on that note, that pretty much sums up our time in Jeju. In the early morning of day 5, we just quickly packed up and travelled to the airport because we're going to be boarding a flight to Seoul. And that's where the rest of our holiday will continue there. But for now, this vlog is going to be stopping over here because so much more happened in Seoul and it's just going to be too long if I combine them all into one. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like what I post, do consider subscribing to the channel. Stay tuned for part 2. Um, I don't know when it will come out, but eventually it will. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.